Governor, uh, what about our CBS News polling, which does show that a majority of Americans, more than 50 percent, support mass deportations? Look, we fix this issue with a bill that is necessary, but the issue on this is this is what happens when you don't want to solve it. You demonize it. And we saw this. And, and Senator Vance, and it surprises me on this, talking about and saying I will create stories to bring attention to this. That vilified a large number of people who were here legally in the community of Springfield. The Republican governor said, it's not true. Don't do it. There's consequences for this. There's consequences. We could come together. Senator Langford did it. We could come together and solve this if we didn't let Donald Trump continue to make it an issue. And the consequences in Springfield were the governor had to send state law enforcement to escort kindergartners to school. I believe Senator Vance wants to solve this, but by standing with Donald Trump and not working together to find a solution, it becomes a talking point. And when it becomes a talking point like this, we dehumanize and villainize other human beings. T Tim, Governor, it, it, Governor, your time is up. Senator, I'll give you one minute, but I, let me just ask you the question please. first. Uh, the governor has made the point, and I think as a sitting lawmaker, you know that Congress controls the purse strings and any funding. So you have said repeatedly that Donald Trump would, through executive action, solve this. Do you disagree that Congress controls the purse strings and would need to support many of the changes that you would actually want to implement? You have one minute. Look, Margaret, first of all, the gross majority of what we need to do at the southern border is just empowering law enforcement to do their job. I've been to the southern border more than our borders are. Kamala Harris has been. And it's actually heartbreaking because the Border Patrol agents, they just want to be empowered to do their job. Of course, additional resources would help. But most of this is about the president and the vice president empowering our law enforcement to say, if you try to come across the border illegally, you've got to stay in Mexico. You've got to go back through proper channels. Now, Governor Waltz broke, brought up the community of Springfield, and he's very very worried about the things that I've said in Springfield. Look, in Springfield, Ohio, and in communities all across this country, you've got schools that are overwhelmed. You've got hospitals that are overwhelmed. You have got housing that is totally unaffordable because we brought in millions of illegal immigrants to compete with Americans for scarce homes. The people that I'm most worried about in Springfield, Ohio, are the American citizens who have had their lives destroyed by Kamala Harris's open border. It is a disgrace, Tim. And I actually think, I agree with you. I think you want to solve this problem, but I don't think that Kamala Harris does.